Hi, yes, hello, and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ashley. And if you're a returner, welcome back. So I'm a millennial that likes to go back and watch your older classic movies for the very first time. I give you a preview review, which is what I think the movie's gonna be about based on pop culture. We watch it together, edit it, of course, because copyright, and then I give you my review. Did I like it? Did I not like it? Did it stand the test of time? And I give it stars, all based on personal preference and what the hell do I know? So today, if you have not seen the title or read the thumbnail, we are watching the movie Good Will Hunting. This has been highly requested for a very long time. For some reason, tends to lose polls. So you're probably asking, Ashley, how did we get here? Well, Friday, there was Jay and Silent Bob Strikes Back. We're doing a little bit of time traveling here. Current Ashley has not seen Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back because I was told I need to watch Good Will Hunting in order to watch the upcoming View Askew movies, right? Okay, so although you've seen me watch Jay and Silent Bob, this today, Ashley, has not seen Jay and Silent Bob, and we are at Good Will Hunting. I, oop, sorry. <laughs> I have been told to bring tissues, which I do not have, luckily for me. I got my good old trusty sleeve. And um, yeah, I know Robin Williams is in this, I love that man. Um, I've been told this is going to make me cry. When was the last time I saw Robin Williams? I guess that was the Dead Poet Society, maybe, was the last time I saw him? No! No, 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 It would be Hook. I saw him in Hook. Um, so I love Robin Williams. I think he's hilarious. I also love it when he's, like, a more serious, dramatic actor. That's all I know. Goodwill Hunting. The title gives me nothing. I don't want to look up a movie poster, so no more dill dialing. Let's get right on into today's Millennial Movie Monday, which is Goodwill Hunting. Robin Williams, I knew that. Big excited about that. Matt Damon, I guess the last time I saw him was Dogma. Ben Affleck? So this intro is very kaleidoscopy, huh? Kevin Smith! Like, like, Kevin Smith? I love the matching tracksuit. It's a move. I love that. Oh, I guess Matt Damon and Ben Affleck are both in Dogma. My dumbass. Written by Matt Damon and Ben Affleck. Okay, I am very intrigued by this. So please finish Percival by next time. I've never seen chalkboards like that. That like. I also put an advanced Fourier system on the main hallway chalkboard. That guy also looks familiar. Renowned astrophysicists and lowly MIT professors. <laughs> if you have any questions, I'm sure that Tom has the answers. Oh, why was everybody getting out when Tom took the stage or the desk? He has fabulous hair. Why didn't you give me none of that nasty little hoochie woochie you usually throw at? <laughs> Like, I'd waste my energy spreading my legs for that Tootsie Roll dick. Tootsie Roll dick. You know what I mean? There's only so many times you can bang your friend's future wife. What did you just say? Where are you going? I'm gonna take off. You just got there. Irish curse. You don't know. You know Irish curse. I don't know anything about an Irish curse, so get into it, I guess. Now, nah, ain't none of y'all told me this was a math movie. That's why I'm gonna cry. <laughs> oh, scary. Which one will it be? Oh, oh, that's why we wear helmets. I don't know. We'll fuck up some smart kids. Probably fit right in. Did we switch to a Boston accent all of a sudden? I don't Get into it, y'all. Love to see it. We love a good quartet. It's Saturday. <laughs> you want to have a drink with me tonight? Don't be weird. Who proved the theorem? <gasps> Did he do it? 
yep, yes, all of this makes sense to me. Yes, ah, uh, yes, those numbers equal those letters. Absolutely. Come on, kid! Good job! Hey, Mari. There's a girl with the striped pants. She's got a nice ass. Oh, Jesus. Fucking Carmine Scott Pagley. That kid used to beat the shit out of me in kindergarten. Okay. Yeah. You want to beat up him now? Beat him up now? <laughs> I'm not going to Kelly's just because you like the takeout, girl. It's 15 minutes out of our way. What? Why not? What are you going to do? We can't spare 15 minutes. And get food while we're at it. Listen. Awful wingman moved by him. I know what you ordered. I was there. So give me my fucking sandwich. Give me your sandwich. He's also driving. Give him a second. Shit. Why don't you just give me my sandwich and stop being a prick? Everybody's so grumpy. We'll put you on a program. Every day you come in with your six cents, and at the end of the week, you get your sandwich. <laughs> Can I have my food now, please? Here's your fucking double burger. Yeah, at least he got his burger. We just seen the guy 15 minutes ago at the park. If he was gonna fight him, we should fight him then. We That's what I said! If we were gonna fight him, why don't we do it there in front of his girlfriend? Let me tell you something. If you're not out there in two fucking seconds, when I'm done with them, you're on next. <laughs> Bro code. It's me, Will. Remember we went to kindergarten together? <laughs> nice! Oh, we didn't fight at the t-ball game or the baseball game because it was little kids. We don't want to set a bad example for those kiddos. Wow, this is a big fight, like for real, for real. Oh my heavens. See, now the cops are here, it's a whole thing. Will, Will, don't kill him. Will, don't kill him. Well, you're going to jail. That's a good, good, good time you had. Is this my imagination or has my class grown considerably? I know that's a lot more people than earlier. So without further ado, come forward to Silent Rogue and receive thy prize. He, he got arrested. <laughs> He's not there right now. And there is a problem on the board right now that took us more than two years to prove. Another, another equation you want somebody to figure out? Are you figuring out the second one, too? Don't you walk away from me! Hey, fuck you! Oh, well... Jeez. I mean, I guess if he's a custodian, then he knows all the ins and outs of the building. Now, I didn't learn nothing about no connecting dots in math. I mean, how hard is it to push a motherfucking broom around the room? Don't be mean. I get fired because management was restructuring. Yeah, re Okay, restructuring. Get can more than tuna, bitch. <laughs> Why did you get fired, Will? Come on. Uh, management was restructuring. <laughs> oh, he really did get fired? Is it because he yelled F you? I asked you yesterday if I could get a job. And I told you no yes. yesterday. <laughs> Jeez. This is a Hobbit bot, huh? I thought there'd be like equations and shit on the wall. <laughs> and if there were, Will would solve them. I'm out. I'm gonna have to bust a little move on them half and honey's down the end of the pot. How are you gonna explain the bruise and cut on your face? Do I come here? I come here a bit. I'm here, uh, you know, from time to time. Oh, does he get nervous? He get nervous talking to ladies? Oh, oh, new guy showed up. New guy showed up. History. history. Yeah. Just history? Yeah, just simple history. I found the class, you know, rather uh, elementary. Elementary. I cannot wait to see how bad this happens. I remember that class. It was, um, it was just between recess and lunch. <laughs> Evolution of the market economy in the southern colonies. Oh, easy peasy. You're a first year grad student. You just got finished reading some Moxie and historian, Pete Garrison, probably. Oh, 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 you're gonna get in another fight. Talking about, you know, the pre-revolutionary utopia and the capital forming effects of military mobilization. I know what all of those words mean, Will. You got that from Vickers. Work in Essex County, page 98, right? Yeah, I read that too. Okay, so Will's a genius, got it. You pawn it off as your own, as your own idea just to impress some girls, embarrass my friend. In 50 years, you're gonna start doing some thinking on your own and you're gonna come up with the fact that there are two certainties in life. Which are? You dropped 150 grand on a fucking education you could have got for a dollar 50 in late charges at the public library. <laughs> Yeah, but I will have a degree, and you'll be serving my kids fries at a drive-thru. <gasps> oh, 
shit. But I mean, if you have a problem like that, I mean, we could just step outside. We could figure it out. Fight, 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 fight. Fucking damn right, this cool. How you like me now? Hey, don't talk. If you're hiding behind somebody, don't talk. I ever had a receding hairline and I was a few pounds overweight and I was like, go fuck yourself. What? I want to hear that full story. That's what I want to hear. <laughs> Matt Damon has perfect teeth. I've been sitting over there for 45 minutes waiting for you to come and talk to me. But I'm tired now and I have to go home. Well, he's not a mind reader. Oh, and by the way, that guy over there, Michael Bolton clone. <laughs> Who's Michael Bolton? Bolton? Gotta get up early and waste some more money on my overpriced education. Yeah, good. All right, yeah, maybe we could just get together and eat a bunch of caramels. What? When you think about it, it's as arbitrary as drinking coffee. Oh, yeah, I guess you could choose anything to spend your time doing, yeah? Look at them fucking bunnies right now. Hey, wait, hold on. Trip. Uh, don't go fighting. Do you like apples? Apples? Well, I got a number. How do you like them apples? <laughs> Damn! Nice. OMG, did those professors find where he lives? Look at his little scarf. That's cute. This high Which one bomb. is your building? Two. You don't know what building you work in? You had to ask your buddy? Look, if anything was stolen, I should know. No, no, no. <laughs> he assumed something was stolen. This is Professor Lambeau. And this is Professor Hayes. <laughs> P.O. Parole officer? Ah. Asshole. <laughs> he wasn't an asshole, but I appreciate shooting the shit. <clears throat> You're on. Henry Ward Beecher in Proverbs. Is he defending himself? Ballsy. Liberty, in case you've forgotten, is the soul's right to breathe. Get into it, my guy. Grand Theft Auto, February 95. Great game. <laughs> January 95, impersonating an officer. The state removed you from three because of serious physical abuse. Oh, no. Yep, this one's gonna make me cry. Motion to dismiss is denied. $50,000 bail. Thank you. Okay, but I'm also really impressed that he's defending him, defended himself before and got things thrown out. Hold on one second. No. Hey. What's up, baby? You want some of my ass? What? What? I remember you from Juvie. How What's you up, doing? Bitch? What you doing? Yo? What in the world? Sure, where are you? Um, well, actually, this is a... Funny you should ask. Nice talking to you. <laughs> He's such a smart ass that I love it. The professor you told to fuck himself. <laughs> oh, yeah, that guy. <laughs> I've spoken to the judge, and he's agreed to release you under my supervision. Oh. Are you going to smoke inside like that? Finite math. Sounds like a real hoot. Well, you've been doing it just for funsies, my guy, so you should be loving this. Did you see a therapist? <laughs> <laughs> okay. If you fail to meet with any of those conditions, you will have to serve time. Oh, no. It's better than spending that time in jail, isn't it? I agree with that. I agree with that. <laughs> what a fun game! Look at them bothering over numbers. Aw, it's like a father-son moment. I love that. Oh, but he's getting jealous. Okay. Yo, he reads so fast. Absolutely right. Right on the button. Good for you, Will. Very nice. Thank you. Him big smart. There are no more shenanigans. No more tomfoolery. No more ballyhoo. But I love to dilly-dally. Some might even want a lollygag from time to time. The music like owns you. It's like mm -hmm. that house music. It's like bomb, 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 bomb. Yep, 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 yep. Beat drops and you just start vibing. Do you find it hard to hide the fact that you're gay? What? Two seconds ago, you were ready to give me a jump. A jump? Are you? <laughs> That's a bold thing to say to someone. I don't care if you putt from the rough. What are you to put, put it? I've never heard that before. What a weird thing to say to someone. It's very ironic. Okay, so the professor is hella creepy, and that makes me big sad. Much less talk to that raving loony in there. An absolute lunatic he is. <laughs> Ooh. So 
items in my room. What is it? Oh, interesting. It's, it's touching. Is he just being silly or is he actually helping? And make a lot of love before the sun goes down. What? Hey, afternoon delight. Turns out he was he was not being for real. Got it. You you really hypnotized me, you know. For God's sake, Quill. I'm very interested in hypnotherapy. It sounds very interesting. I don't need therapy. You absolutely need therapy. Well, there is someone. Who is he? My roommate in college. Oh, okay. Trust. Ah! Hi! Hi, Robin Williams! I love him with a beard. And look how long his hair is! Trust is life. Wow. Deep. It's very deep. Thank you. <laughs> Nail them while they're vulnerable. That's my motto. <laughs> Maybe we should work on that phrasing? What a shot. Hey, Jack. You can't just walk into someone's lecture. How would you feel if somebody did that to you? That's like the Nobel Prize for math. Except they only give it out once every four years. Oh, wow. Is that true? That's really cool. We talking about Freud, why he did enough cocaine to kill a small horse. <laughs> I would like to attend that lecture, please. What? You have to have blood and urine? What's up? <laughs> what? I was in Paris. It was that damn conference. I got your card. It was nice. Ah, uh, this is awkward, I guess. I got a uh, probation and then uh, counseling two days a week. Beats jail. Well, I've never seen anything. What makes him so incredible, Jerry? Big brain energy on that guy. Robin Williams has beautiful blue eyes. He's a bad guy in something I've watched. Has to be. He looks very familiar. What background? Oh, well, you're from the same neighborhood. Oh, really? Let me guess. Barry. Yeah. Henry. Yeah. Not Rick. Sean, please. <laughs> he knows everyone. He probably even read your book, if you can find it. He definitely did. This is Sean McGuire, Will Hunting. How are you? Oh, I just now realized his last name is Hunting. Good Will Hunting. Would you excuse us? Yeah, please, Tom. You too, Jerry. Oh, you gotta get out of here too. Buy all these books retail and you send away for like a shrink kit that comes with all these volumes. <laughs> did you read any of these books? I don't know. How about any of these books? Probably not. You didn't even look at the books he has, Will. What do you think about it? Hey, I'm not here for a fucking book report. They're your books. Why don't you read them? Mean. Well, did he serve? Spend all your money on these fucking fancy books. You surround yourselves with them. They're the wrong fucking books. <laughs> Jeez, what an opinion. Whatever blows your hair back. Yeah. I haven't got much hair left. I think you have wonderful hair. Yeah, I know. It really gets in the way of my yoga. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Free weights, huh? Yeah, big time. Yeah? Just like that. What do you bench? 285. What do you bench? I, I, I can chest press 215 free weights, so... I'm not saying I'm a muscle mommy, but... It's a real piece of shit. What? It's also a Winslow Homer ripoff, except you got Whitey uh, rowing the boat there. <laughs> you know what the real bitch of it is? It's paint by number. Is it really? I think you're about one step away from cutting your fucking ear off. Really? A damn Picasso. Maybe you do what you gotta do to get out. You know, maybe you became a psychologist. Wow, I see what you're doing. Maybe you married the wrong woman. Maybe you should watch your mouth. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. Well, that's it, isn't it? You married the wrong woman. You better stop talking about his wife. <laughs> If you ever disrespect my wife again, I will end you. I have never been so scared of Robin Williams. Time's up. Yeah. I have never been so scared of that man. Terrifying. Thursday, four o'clock. Make sure the kid's here. You're still gonna meet with him? He's going through it. And look at that old typewriter. Well, I don't want to see Robin Williams cry. Just beautiful. Yes, I always wanted that blue eyeshadow. Spectacular. You know, I figured out at the end, 
my brain's gonna be worth $250,000. Good for you, girl. Bring me another my time. What a fun date they're on right now. Well, I was gonna, you know, experiment on you for anatomy class first. <laughs> yep, that's my favorite. One, two, three. <gasps> How did he do it? I don't really date. You know, that much. I'm very unfortunate. I love this for them. This is so cute. No, you know, I tell you, I was hoping to get good night late. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we should just get out of the way now. Oh, oh, so then maybe you still could get good night late if you have just an after dinner kiss. <laughs> <laughs> this is so cute. I got some of your pickle. <laughs> That uh, ain't the only pickle he's trying to give you, am I right? Come with me. Field trip! You gotta think the swans is this like a fetish, it's something like... No, just shut up and enjoy it with him. I fell into a deep, peaceful sleep, and I haven't thought about you since. <laughs> You're just a kid. True. I bet you can't tell me what it smells like in the Sistine Chapel. No, can't. Can't tell you that. You may have even been laid a few times. <laughs> Boom roasted. <laughs> but you can't tell me what it feels like to wake up next to a woman and feel truly happy. I don't think this is the part that I'm supposed to cry at, but I'm close. You've never held your best friend's head in your lap and watch him gasp his last breath looking to you for help. Oh my goodness, okay. Feeling like God put an angel on earth just for you. That's so sweet. You don't know about real loss. Because that only occurs when you love something more than you love yourself. Whew. Wow. Okay. I see a cocky, scared, shitless kid. Aren't we all kind of like that, though? But you presume to know everything about me because you saw a painting of mine. You ripped my fucking life apart. Mmm. Good point. How you feel. Who you are. Because I read all of the twist. Mmm, good point. And I'm fascinated. I'm in. He's in it for the long haul. I'm so excited for this. You move, Chief. You know what? Just based on that monologue right there, this movie is about to rip me apart. <laughs> I bet that's a hard job. Hello? Professor Valenti, are you calling me again? Why, are you, why didn't you talk to her? Why didn't you talk to her? No, it was your mother's 900 number. I just ran out of clock. <laughs> what was that about? Why didn't he talk to Skylar? Y'all just running out the clock, having a staring contest right now? I just sat there counting the seconds until the session was over. Weird. Prove to me he doesn't have to talk to me if he doesn't want to. Oh, I see. Man, I have not thought of an overhead light like that in years. Sometimes people get lucky. I think he has solved enough equations that he ain't lucky. He's smart. You gonna talk first today? You know, I was on this plane once. <laughs> I don't blame me for falling asleep. All I could use right now is a fucking blowjob and a cup of coffee. Been there. Phone's still on the sky in the back of the plane's like, hey, hon, don't forget the coffee. <laughs> That's funny. I have been late, you know. Congratulations. Going out again? I don't know. Why not? I haven't called her. You did, but you didn't talk. This girl's like fucking perfect right now. I don't want to ruin that. By spending more time with her and getting to know her more? Well, that way you can go through your entire life without ever having to really know anybody. Mmm. My wife used to fart when she was nervous. Relatable. You know, she used to fart in her sleep. <laughs> Everybody does! <laughs> One night it was so loud it woke the dog up. <laughs> <laughs> the wheeze laugh! Ah, but we'll... She's been dead two years, and that's the shit I remember. <laughs> the little idiosyncrasies that only I knew about. That's what made her my wife. Oh, God, I'm gonna cry! And then we get to choose who we let into our weird little worlds. Oh, that's a good quote. 
But the question is whether or not you're perfect for each other. Hmm, that's a good question. That's a good point. You certainly won't learn from an old fucker like me. Even if I did know, I wouldn't tell a piss ant like you. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> you ever think about getting remarried? My wife's dead. So the answer is no. I mean, that way you could actually go through the rest of your life without ever really knowing anybody. Oh, oh. My, how the tables have turned. He likes Will because Will challenges him. <gasps> is she going to be working on music? Hello. Hey. Where have you been? Wow. Well, I thought she'd be like, oh, goodness, you caught me off guard. I've... I thought you'd call. Well, I did, but I just didn't talk. I was wondering if, uh, if you know, you'd give me another crack at it, you know, let me take you out again. Aww. I've got to assign the proton spectrum for ibogamine. All that sounds really, really interesting. Yeah, I was gonna say, we've all been there, girl. But like tomorrow? Um, yeah, all right. Okay. Are you actually gonna call her and tell her where, where, where y'all are going and stuff? What are you doing here? I couldn't wait till tomorrow. Is he gonna solve it for her? That's cute. Well, you're not going to surgery tomorrow, are you? No. Life is short, go have fun. This dog racing? Come on, run, look at that. Come on. Oh, look at how he looks at her. Still glad for my win. <laughs> As you should be, girl. It was, you know, normal, I guess. Nothing special. Be honest, you're an orphan. I swear to God, friends. I swear to God. I'm yeah. lucky 13 right here. Hmm. Maki, Ricky, Danny, Terry, Mikey, Davey, Timmy, Tommy, Joey, Robbie, Johnny, and Brian. Ah. Maki, Ricky, Danny, Terry, Mikey, Davey, Timmy, Tommy, Joey, Robbie, Johnny, and Brian. This is convincing. Oh, you know, I read your book last night. Oh, so you're the one. Oh, look, he's sitting closer. He's not sitting across. I wonder if I'd be better off without her. No, 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 I'm not saying, like, no. better off. I didn't mean it. Just how different it would be. Because you'll have bad times. But that'll always wake you up to the good stuff you weren't paying attention to. Oh, that's another good quote! Oh, I got regrets, Will, but I don't regret a single day I spent with her. Shut up. Like that she was the one for you. October 21st, 1975. You know the date! Slept out on the sidewalk all night to get tickets. You got tickets? Yep. Oh, good for you. You know? Yeah, and he's fucking pulling oh, no, he's like, oh, well, get on the as you should when you're accomplishing that kind of thing. In game. Yeah. Did you rush the field? Uh, no, I didn't rush the fucking field. I wasn't there. What? I thought you got tickets. You missed Pudge Fist's home run? Oh, yeah. To have a fucking drink with some lady you never met? Yeah, but you should have seen her. She was a stunner. I'm gonna cry. I just slid my ticket across the table and I said, sorry, guys, I gotta see about a girl. About a girl? Yeah. yeah. That's what you said? I had. Yeah. And they let you get away with that. Oh, yeah, they saw in my eyes and I meant it. That never happens in real life, but that's really freaking sweet. Oh. 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 The oh. Oh. Will I ever play in the NBA? It is decidedly so. Good for you, girl. Congratulations on your new career. Yes, but I've never seen you. I know. You have to be vulnerable with her like he tells you in therapy. What if I said I would not sleep with you again until you let me meet your friend? Oh. He said, okay, you can meet him tomorrow. If you're not thinking with your wiener, then you're acting directly on its behalf. <laughs> That's really funny. I'm going to say it again. This movie is about to rip my heart out. And I haven't exactly figured out how it's going to happen, but I know it's going to suck big time. <laughs> <gasps> they really did meet her invented friends! I love that! He's always telling stories over here. Every time we come here, he's got another story. That's me. I also always have a story. It's huge fucking boom, right? So Stady gets real spooked and he turns around. You got shot? What was the boom? <laughs> Some other guy's car had hit a tree. Mmm. After a few minutes of just lying in his own piss and vomit. As one does. Like, all right, fine. Takes him out of the garage, opens the door. I'm so invested in this story. This is Dady's police cruiser. It's in my uncle's garage. He took the police car. <laughs> he was so fucking hammered, he drove the wrong car home. That's hilarious. He's been driving around all night in my uncle's Chevelle. Look. <laughs> you know what? 
doesn't make any sense. It does make sense if you listen to the story and quit asking questions. True. I want to give you a little present. Anything your little heart desires. Where is this going? I would like you to give me a blowjob. In 50 years, you've never done that? Give us a gift. Snowballing? Oh, slowly <laughs> oh, back on, away. <laughs> Brother. I don't know what. I love that she has a deeper laugh. I'm right, thinking you're on. bad. Hey, okay. wait a minute. You said we were going to see your place. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. But I want to meet your brothers. No, we're going to do that another time. He's going to get outed by his friends. And I yell, don't forget the coffee. Oh, shit. You are not supposed to regurgitate other people's jokes. Look at the pickles. Why is there a big thing of pickles? P I mean, p uh, pickled eggs. Why is there just a jar of eggs? What's the jackpot? 12 million. I don't think that'll cover it. Yeah, but it'll cover your sex change operation. <laughs> Damn. You wanted to talk about Will. Well, it seems to be going well. I think so. Are they at the same bar that Will and Skylar and all them were at last night? It's great at their office, but I, I don't really think he's ready for that. I was gonna say he's not ready to go. I'm not sure you understand, Sean. What? What do we not understand? Tim, can you help us? We're trying to settle a bet. What? How about Gerald Lambeau? Ever heard of him? No. Oh. Thank you, Tim. Who's the last guy? Who's the last guy? This boy has that gift. He just hasn't got the direction, but we can give that to him. But he might not be ready for it. Maybe he doesn't want what you want. There's more to life than a fucking Fields medal. Good for you! Why don't we give him time to figure out what he wants? That's a wonderful theory, Sean. It worked wonders for you, didn't it? What a dick. Was he the lizard dad of the Amazing Spider-Man? I think he was. I'm still trying to place him. Will, our offer is $84,000 a year. Will didn't go to the meeting? Will didn't go to the meeting? Larry? <laughs> I've got uh, $73. You carry $73 in your wallet? Are you crazy? You can speak with my aforementioned attorney. You covered for Will and made money doing this? How's it going? Fine. Yeah. He made his choice. He's just like his therapist. Well, have you studied organic chemistry? A little bit. Oh, just for fun. He's doing weird stuff just for fun. Nobody studies it for fun. It's not a necessity, especially for someone like you. What does that mean? You do it so easily, I don't understand. I, I... He's just really smart, girl. I can't play the piano. But you can do my OCHEM paper in under an hour. People are just naturally gifted at different things, girlfriend. I don't know why you're so surprised that it just happens to be really complicated math for this guy. Well. Oh, oh, she said, I am getting in this one. She said, my tongue is getting in there. I've been here for four years. And I've only just found you. Aw, that's sweet. Will, come to California with me. Okay. I want you to come to California. Because she loves you. I just know. Yeah, but how, how do you know? Call it a woman's intuition. Serious thing that you can't take it back, and now I'm stuck in California. Someone doesn't really want to be with me, just wish they had a take back. You're scared of something that hasn't even happened. Why not? Uh, one, because I, I, I've i got a job here. They got jobs in California, and you can live in California. You live in the safe little world where no one challenges you, and you're scared shitless uh, to do anything don't. else. But mm, mm. Oh, heavens. Rich prick who your parents will approve of and just sit around with the other trust fund babies. And Don't ruin this love. That I would give it back in a second if it meant I could have one more day with it. Aw. Mm. You know what? I'm afraid too. Fuck it. I want to give it a shot. And at least I'm honest with you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What That's... about your 12 brothers? Uh... You're mad because she's calling you out on your bullshit. No, that no, this no. isn't fucking surgery, that the motherfucker stabbed me. You don't want to hear that shit. You didn't give her a chance. God, I just want to be with don't you because I love you. Don't bullshit don't me. Don't you love fucking you. bullshit. Okay, well, this is, well, well, that's too much. Love is being vulnerable. You got to give her a chance. He said he didn't love her? What a liar!
I have goosebumps all over. Because I've seen how much he enjoys working with you. Not against you. This guy's a little, uh, too loyal. Did he correct your work? That's right. Just take it home with you. <laughs> Not him giving the professor homework. I couldn't go. I had a date. So, uh, so I sent my chief negotiator. Chief negotiator. Look, maybe I don't want to spend the rest of my fucking life sitting around explaining shit to people. Oh. Do you know how easy this is for me? Do you have any fucking idea how easy this is? This is a fucking joke. Oh, lordy be. I really am, because I wouldn't have to fucking sit here and watch you fumble around and fuck it up. Goodness gracious. You're right. This is probably a total waste of my time. <gasps> Why did you set that on fire? Most days I wish I never met you. <laughs> Damn. I didn't, I didn't have to walk around with the knowledge that there was someone like you out there. What, smarter than you? If you're watching pornos in my mom's room again, I'm gonna give you a fucking beat. Oh, is that what, is that that noise? That's how it felt. <laughs> I'm gonna feast your own house. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't, I just used it for the, for cleanup. Ooh. Ooh, what? Super string theory, chaos math, advanced algorithms. Code breaking. Who are you interviewing with? I don't understand. You guys handle 80% of the intelligence workload. You're seven times the size of the CIA. Oh. The question is, why shouldn't you? Good question. 1,500 people that I never met, never had no problem with, get killed. Mmm, and you have to live with that guilt. The lancillary benefit for them, but it ain't helping my buddy at two fifty a gallon. Mmm. So what did I think? I'm holding out for something better. That's crazy. It all made sense, but that's crazy. Somebody who challenges you. He broke up with her. I got plenty. Well, name them. I was gonna say, and their names are? Frost, O'Connor, Kant, Pope, Locke. Those are books! You can't get back to them, Will. Not without some serious smelling salts and a heater. <laughs> Look, I didn't want the job. It's not about the job. I don't care if you work for the government. He's talking about you. I mean, the guys who work their entire life laying bricks so their kids have a chance at the opportunities you have here. Mm, good point. Busted his ass so I can have an education. Exactly. That's an honorable profession. What's wrong with... It is. Why are you getting upset? I'm sure that's why you took that job. I mean, for the honor of it. Mm, I see what you did there. Why did you work at the most prestigious technical college in the whole fucking world? Good question. I want to move up to Nashua, get a nice little spread, get some sheep and tend to them. You are regressing in therapy, Will. No, you're going to jerk off, aren't you? Just do it at home with a moist towel. <laughs> you're lecturing me on life? Look at you, you fucking burnout. <gasps> wow. You. Where's your soulmate? You want to talk about soulmates? Where is she? Dead? Fuck you. You're the shepherd. You can't be mad at your therapist for not showing up for you when you're not showing up for yourself. Therapy only works if you do the work. I love you. Say it back. You take care. So awful. I need you to run through the airport and find her gate and give her a big hug and go with her. That's what I need you to do, Will. He really didn't go. He really didn't go. Well, if he doesn't show up and I file a report saying he wasn't here and he goes back to jail, it won't be on my conscience. Well, right, because that's a choice made by Will. So how's your lady? I don't have one. What was this? It's like a week ago. Wow, men just really don't be talking about their feelings sometimes. Yeah, probably make some nice bank, though. True. You know, be neighbors, you know, we'll have little kids, fucking take them a little league together up fully failed. That would be cute, but you could be in California with the girl that you big love. Coming over to my house to watch the Patriots game, still working construction, I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> you got something none of us have. Oh, come on, why, why is it always this? I mean, I fucking owe it to myself. Everybody believes in you, you jackass! I mean, you're sitting on a winning lottery ticket. True. Because I'd do fucking anything to have what you got. So would any of these fucking guys. Mm. I'm very worried about them drinking beer while on a construction site. 
because the first thing that happened to him, he was abandoned by the people who were supposed to love him the oh. most. Yep, true. Because any one of them, if he asked them to, would take a fucking bat to your head, okay? Yep. That's called loyalty. Yeah, it is. He pushes people away before they have a chance to leave him. Yep. It's a defense mechanism, all right? It sure is. And if you're angry at me for being being successful, for being what you could have been. What? That's why I don't come to the goddamn reunions. Because I can't stand that look in your eye. Good for you. Don't you, that. you know what, Jerry? Shove the metal up your fucking ass. <laughs> I don't blame you. It's not about you, you mathematical dick. <laughs> I won't see you make him feel like a failure to... Good for you. It's not you. You get that? Hi. <laughs> a lot of that stuff goes back a long way between me and him. Yeah, that's okay. You want to read? I don't think I'm ready. 20 years of counseling. Yeah, I've seen some pretty awful shit. <laughs> I bet. Oh. Oh. So I'd provoke him so he wouldn't go after my mother and little brother. <laughs> a wrench, a stick, and a belt on the table. I just say choose. Oh, no. Oh, I gotta go with the belt there, Vanna. I used to go with the wrench. Oh, my God, no, belt. Is that why, uh, is that why I broke up with Skylar? Yeah. You want to talk about it? No. Because you have trust issues. This is not your fault. Look at me, son. It's not your fault. <laughs> I know. No, no, you don't. It's not your fault. Me, all right, don't fuck with me, Sean. Not you, it's not your fault. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'm not crying, you're crying. <laughs> no, I can't breathe through my nose. <laughs> I guess I didn't realize how much I needed to hear <laughs> that. <laughs> Is that what you want? Yeah, you know, I think so. But what about Skylar? You don't want to try Skylar? Wow, look at how close they're sitting now. You're done. You're a free man. See, therapy was way easier than being in jail, huh? I've got an answering machine at the college I'll be checking in with. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. Yeah, you know, I figured I'm just gonna put my money back on the table and see what kind of cards I get. Oh, fine. Good for you. Hey, just violate the uh, patient-doctor relationship. <laughs> you grabbed my ass. <laughs> Good luck, son. Oh, that's really special, huh? Hey, asshole. What, bitch? Happy birthday. <laughs> hey, asshole. What, bitch? <laughs> we knew you had to get back and forth to Cambridge for your new job, and I knew I wasn't going to fucking drive you every day. You're giving him your car? Really allowed to drink, so we figured the best thing for you, kid, was a car. Oh, uh, wow. It's the ugliest fucking car I've ever seen. <laughs> So you finally got a job, huh, Morgan? Yeah, I had one. Now I'm fucked again. <laughs> I'll be 21, bro. How have you been in a bar drinking this entire time if you're just now turning 21? India and China and Baltimore. Fun! So many places! <laughs> it says a uh, class of 72 is having a reunion in six months. Yeah, I got one of those, too. You gonna go, Sean? Got the winner right here, pal. Oh. Yeah, you did. That's a winning lottery ticket. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. These are the best 10 seconds of your day, and he's gone. So you're finally going to get your wish. Well, notice the car y'all got him isn't there, so... 
Oh, his stuff's gone. He did it just like he said he would. No goodbye, nothing. He just left. <laughs> you finally get shotgun. So excited for you, Fran. Just tell him, sorry. I had to go see about a girl. <laughs> Who was the mathematician? I missed it. It went too fast. How in the world did I see this man in like all of the Pirates of the Caribbean and I didn't know it was him? And he was in Thor? Oh yeah, he's the, he's literally the professor in that. Wow, he was not in the Amazing Spider-Man. I just, I just made that up, I guess. Okay, let's talk about it. Well, that's quite a big cry, huh? <laughs> um, Shuey, what I, let me tell you something, especially, okay, so dogma happened, whatever, for me, um, I, and this was written by Matt Damon and Ben Affleck, and, um, I have just become incredibly invested with those two, thanks to this movie, and then seeing them in Dogma. Wow. What range? Um. Crazy. Anyways. Man, this movie is something else, ain't it? I was, I mean, y'all told me I was gonna cry, and I really thought that it was gonna be about, like, Robin Williams, Sean, like, and how he felt towards his wife, you know? Um, I did not realize that it was going to be like it was, you know? And, um, what a great movie. What a really good movie. Um, you know, I had this plan. I had this plan to immediately after Good Will Hunting because... Because so many people told me, like, I needed to see this movie to get jokes for Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. I was gonna, um, I was gonna, like, wrap up filming, film this outro, and then I was just, like, gonna go directly into Jay and Silent Bob, like, looking like this, you know, and be like, well, I watched Good Will Hunting, so I'll understand the references, but, um, instead, I, th um, I think I need to go get a hug from heaven <sighs> and probably bury my face in beans for a little bit. Wow, what a good, what a good movie. Um, I guess I should say to you watching, um, Thank you for giving me a space to be vulnerable and to be known. Um, and I'm not talking like number of subscribers, but to <sighs> experience the full range of emotion with you and maybe, f maybe for you, it's not that serious. I'm just another person on YouTube watching movies and you know, maybe watching your favorite movies, but <sighs> just know. I hope you know that it also wasn't your fault. It also wasn't your fault. Whatever it was. And I'm just so glad that we're just all here right now getting to experience being humans together.
being human beings. And for this movie, being human feelings. <laughs> it's a good movie. It's a real good movie. Oh. I need to get back into therapy, I think. <laughs> so anyways, um, Goodwill Hunting. Five out of five stars. Real good movie. Might watch again if I ever feel um emotionally constipated. Oh. Five out of five stars for Goodwill Hunting. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> like, subscribe, stick around. Links to social media down below. <laughs> um, this Wednesday we are. For real, for real, wrapping up um, Firefly with the movie Serenity that is supposed to hopefully put a bow on <laughs> everything. Um, and then this Friday is going to be Clerks 2. And then it starts my birthday month. And uh, if you want to be a patron and vote on every single movie that I watch, TV shows, all that jazz, link down below. Of course, links to social media as well. If you want to be my friend outside of the YouTube verse, and I'll see you right back here on Wednesday. Take your meds. 